Hopefully this car is not frozen because I am late. Oh shit. Right, now I know this looks weird, but bear with me. So this was my Halloween of 2018. Inside out, brilliant, good start. A day ultimately filled with work, editing, getting dressed up, and <laughs> going out as well, a, a lot. But the bottom line is, I was awake for 24 hours. <laughs> for this challenge wasn't, well, it wasn't really intentional, it was sort of just a situation that I found myself in and um, we'll go into that a little bit later on in the video. But when you upload to social media as much as I do, you sense every single opportunity, you take every single opportunity you can to make a video like this one. So October 31st for me was a long one, I mean, well, obviously, right? The day started at 4.15am with the first alarm to leave the house for 5am. Leaving the house at 5am would allow me to get to work for 6am and enjoy the rest of my day. Well, I mean 6, 6ish, six right? But 5.45, you get the point. Initially, I turned up in regular work clothes, not knowing how like the rest of the workforce were gonna dress up. Around about 8.30, the time we've been getting dressed, we were awake for about four hours so far. You know, was feeling fine, was feeling awake, and um, my boss put face paint all over my face. Yes. You heard that right, my boss. It's, it's a pretty cool place to work. Oh, it feels weird. So anyway, I didn't know how everybody else was going to turn up, so I didn't want to be the only one to turn up in fancy dress. I hadn't been there that long, and so I didn't know whether they were kind of having me on as like a joke, or trying to get Liam to be the only one to turn up in fancy dress. But um, no, it turned out to be a pretty big thing, and so we ended up getting ready at around about 8.30. <laughs> So around 12 o'clock, I have some classes. This is where my energy levels start to dip. I'm wide awake at 4 a.m. because of the early shift, right? But then eight hours later, around about 12 o'clock, this is where my energy levels in general start to dip. But the difference is this time, I knew I was gonna be awake for a long period of time. I knew that I was gonna be awake until 4 a.m. the next morning, and I knew how difficult that was gonna be. I was aware of this as early as 6 a.m. Oh my God, I've been awake like two hours already. And it's just hit me, I'm gonna be awake for at least another 20. Fuck. Where are you, John? <laughs> Classes have finished, it was time for me to get some food, take my makeup off in time for around about two o'clock, and have my hair cut at around about 3.30. All the things that you guys don't see as well is me editing for 20 minutes at a time in my car, trying to get previous videos, if you watch me, you know all about that trying to get the previous videos up in time. Hour 12, about 4.15 p.m., haircut is finished, and we're off to Alex's house. Sit. Petrol. Oh. Yeah. Honey, I'm home. Now this, this is the reason that I have to be awake for so long. I mean, it's through, it's through my own fault, but it's Halloween, right? October 31st. So, we have a night out to attend. That means getting changed again, more makeup again, and uh, <laughs> yeah, cat ears. exciting part of the night, the part of the night that I personally look forward to the most, the Baywatch theme tune. Hour 21, around about 1.30 in the morning, and you hear this sound. The place goes nuts. But unfortunately that hype was brought to a swift close as we realised that I had lost my phone. Yes, lost my phone. Now if you've been watching the channel for a while, you will know why I was sh
my pants so badly. I have previously had my phone stolen in Ocean, which is the nightclub where we were at, a few months back. If you've been watching me for a while, you'll know, um, you know, it got stolen. And so obviously, at this point in time, I'm thinking, oh my God, not again, not again, not again, no, 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 no. Half an hour of using Find My iPhone from Rachel's phone, thank you Rachel, and the phone was physically moving around the club, right? So I knew someone had my phone. Luckily, this person was a good person and not the person that stole my phone the last time. Eventually handed it into the cloakroom after we were wandering around, and needless to say, we went straight to the bar. Then the night was coming to a close, hour 23, we had to be the last ones to leave. Absolutely knackered. Hour 24, we made it back to Alex's house and my God, I just crashed. After a mad day, going to work, dressing up, going out, it's such a busy day, I was just ready for a kip on Alex's sofa. Thank you, Alex. It was an eventful one, an eight and a half hour shift, a haircut, uploading a video, filming a video, losing my phone, finding my phone, I mean, the list could go on, but that was my 24 hours and that was my kind of accidental challenge. Would I recommend it? Absolutely not. Get your sleep, eat your greens, drink some water. In fact, pretty much do the opposite of everything I did in this video. <laughs> and that is it, guys. So, slightly different video, slightly different upload to what I would normally do. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, I definitely enjoyed making this one. I had to put a lot of thought into it, which, you know, I, I love this shit, right? Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. I'll see you in the next one.